Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Surveying with Robert. So what I've got going on for you today is we're going to take a point cloud from an SX-10 and it's a depression and we're going to go in there, we're going to build a brake line, we're going to um, create a surface, and we're going to take that surface out to AutoCAD. So while I get that together, you watch this and we'll get this thing going. <laughs> Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna take this point cloud data and we're going to um, create a surface. I'm gonna show you how to create a surface. We're gonna create a quick break line and I'm gonna show you how to bring all that into um, Civil 3D. So here we go. So we've got this point cloud in here. Now we need to kind of get the data we wanna work with. So first thing I'm gonna do is turn these points off that are in here. I'm going to go to the raw data. I'm going to turn off the total station. And there's an azimuth line in here. I'm going to turn it off. So now all we've got, if you'll notice under regions, it says default. So that's the whole point cloud. So what I want to do is I want to go into point clouds. I want to go to polygon select up here under view. And I want to draw a line around this. So I'm going to take the left mouse key, click and drag to my first point. And after that, it's just click, 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 click. Draw all the way around what I need for this site. Okay, double click at the end. There we go. I'm gonna create a region. I'm gonna call it Topo. Notice create region is up here under regions. So now I should have topo and default. So if I turn default off, the only thing I have left is that. So let's go up here to 3D view. Rotate this thing around so we can take a look at it. Now we've got some vegetation and stuff in there. So let's get rid of some of the stuff we don't need. So I'm gonna draw a box around this thing so I can select this. And up here under regions, I'm gonna say extract ground. So what it's gonna do is it's going to try to pull all the vegetation out and just give me the ground as best it can. There again, we go back over here, we look, we turn topo off. Now we pretty much should just have what it considers ground in here. So now what we're gonna do we're gonna go to CAD, we're gonna go to line string. I'm gonna create a line string called break line. I'm gonna create a layer called break line. And then I'm gonna go down here at the bottom, I'm gonna hit OK. Now what I need to do is go to my O snaps, turn off these two, just leave on my point and end point. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna draw a rough line around this thing just to show you how this works. I'm not gonna get too crazy with it. So, if I was doing this for production, I would be a little bit more careful about what I'm doing right now. So I can continue my break line if I want to, just come around the bottom of this. This drainage. Like I said, I'm just kind of wild picking just so I can show you. Okay, so I've got this line in here. We can look at it, and it didn't do too bad of a job. 
just kind of randomly went through their picking. It's like that point could have been a little bit higher, but ah, it works. Okay, so now what we want to do, we've got way too many points in here. This, this point cloud is way too dense for what uh, we want to do. We needed the dense point cloud to be able to draw a break line, but we don't need the dense point cloud to create a surface. So now what I want to do, go back into point clouds, and I'm going to, there again, I want to pick, and I could, well, actually, why don't I just do that? I can pick right here and just select the whole thing. I'm gonna say sample region. Now what sample region does is it actually removes some points from this, but it's gonna do it, it's called spatial sampling. So what we're going to do now is I'm gonna take a spacing down to like, not two foot of work, let's do that. So I'm gonna say store. Now that that's my, my points every two foot on here. And if we go look, under regions, sample two foot. So that's what I've got. Now if I go in to surface and I just say create a surface, um, let's give it a color of magenta. There again, I just click, whoops. After I click in there, I hit select and I'm gonna select everything in here. Now you can draw a box around it just to make sure you get everything like that. Or you can hold your control down and you can select whichever one you want. So I got two items selected. So I have my break line and I also have my points. So now if I say okay, you'll notice it's building a surface on here. So that's what my surface looks like right there. So as you can see, it looks like we've got a couple points we probably could have cleaned up down there. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. So if I go in and I say just create, let's do, let's not do that. Let's do quick contours. Interval, one foot. So here we go. There's my contours. Now, how's that look? See my break line? See how my contours are working in here? See how this all worked out? Made a pretty cool surface in here, as you can see. You don't need to worry about the contours when you're bringing it over to AutoCAD because what you want is the surface. So, what we're going to do is go to Home, Export. I'm going to go to Land XML Exporter under Construction. And I'm going to select my surface in here. I think I've got it selected in there. Just gonna make sure. Okay, got my surface selected. So I'm gonna call this um, Topo. And if I want to, I can take this and put it just about anywhere I want to put it. So, how about we take it to the desktop. Everybody always gets on to me because I've got so many icons on the desktop. So let's go to desktop, save. And let's say export, okay. Now let's come over here to AutoCAD and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna set this drawing up and I'm going to go to Drawing Utilities, Drawing Settings. We are going to say US Survey. Whoops. Feet, do, 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 do. Let's go down to... This is actually in Mississippi. And it should be on the east side. Use some US survey foot. Apply. Okay. Now then I also want to go into my units. And I want to set those up to US survey foot as well. And we want degrees, minutes, seconds. Now then, all we've got to do is go to insert. We say land XML. I go out to my desktop, Topo XML, open. Let's 
give me all this information. I say, okay, there's my surface. So, if I don't like my contours, now you know, you can hold down your shift and your middle wheel key, middle wheel button, and you can see your surface. One way you're gonna see contours is go to the top view. You can go to surfaces. If you go to surface properties, I can change my contours. If I want one foot, there's one foot contours. So there again, I can hold down the shift and the middle wheel and I can turn it and you can see how that works. I could go into wireframe, exceptional, and I can create kind of like a solid surface in there. So anyways, that's how we get it out of uh, Terminal Business Center over into Civil 3D with the surface. Spatial sample it down. If you don't spatial sample it down, you get all these crazy contours because you got too much data in there. If you're trying to work with the surface, you're not trying to create a drawing, I recommend keeping all those points because if you're trying to get detailed information between two surfaces, that's a lot of information. So anyways, I hope this helps. Um, if you guys have any questions, hit me up. Um, always remember to like and subscribe. Subscribe. Every time I load something up, you're going to know it. If you hit the like button, then that tells me, hey, this is very interesting to you. So guys, help me out with that. I appreciate it. And as always, be safe. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.